it never rains, it pours. And we have had quite a deluge today. And it's all coming from this huge swathe of cloud that's been reluctant to ease eastwards. In the British Isles, our climate produces very changeable weather. And talking about it is a national obsession. Today, satellite sequences are an integral part of the forecast that we all take for granted. Now, a new generation of high-technology observation satellites will not only improve forecasting techniques, but also help us to study the Earth's climate system and global warming. Meteo Second Generation, known as MSG, was launched in 2005 and gathers far more data in greater detail and more frequently than its predecessors. MSG, like the previous Meteosats, is in geostationary orbit over Europe and beams back one full resolution image every 15 minutes, compared to every 30 minutes with the previous system. Many of these will be infrared images that tell forecasters about the temperature of the surfaces they scan, such as land, sea or cloud tops. Others will reveal the amount of ozone, water vapor and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This next generation of satellites has got much more complicated instrumentation on it. They can actually look much more closely at cloud formations. They can look more deeply into the clouds so that we can actually get a better idea of not just what it looks like on the surface of the cloud, but some idea of what it looks like through the depth of the cloud. We can also look down to the surface and see how temperatures are changing. We can look at the surface of the sea. We can now get better ideas on how global warming and climate change is actually functioning within our atmosphere. We can look at ice cover, we can look at all these different things, and it is about getting information. It's a huge amount of information, and it's these satellite pictures that can do it for us. Because MSG beams back 20 times the data at twice the speed of the old satellites, it should allow much more accurate weather forecasting. But what is significant is the next pulse of rain potentially... Very often the first clue you get that something dramatic is going to happen is from a satellite picture, often from a meteor sat sitting above the equator. The Hurricane Rita, Hurricane Katrina, for example, all started life on the eastern side of the Atlantic, right underneath that satellite. And as they develop and move across the Atlantic westwards towards the Caribbean, the meteorologist is looking for these particular patterns in the satellite pictures that say, yep, here it comes, there's the start point. As well as the weather data sensors, MSG also carries GERB, the Geostationary Earth Radiation Budget Instruments, which measure the difference between the amount of energy falling on the Earth in sunlight and the amount being reflected or lost as heat. This will help experts more accurately study the influence of clouds and particles on the weather and the Earth's climate. GERB was designed and built by scientists at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Oxford. One of the biggest challenges facing mankind today could possibly be the global warming issue. And we need to, to understand that, we need to build up detailed simulations of the Earth's weather and climate systems. Information from GERB and the new MSG instruments will give us much more information to allow us to do that.